This is a bit difficult because I talked about collection in the other group. But I, I talk about collection in the body and another thing in the legs. So what we want to be able to do is to, to shorten up this part of her. And when, when she thinks that it's hard to work with inner shorter frame for more collection, then she will try to go away from it. So if you think almost like you are the a third single, like one gym, and your arm should keep the front in the same length. If you have side reins, then the horse is pushing against it, but the side rein doesn't give. But it doesn't pull back either. And the horse gives to the rein and finds, okay, this is a good place to go. If he goes against it then and starts to stop, then you push him forward with the whip. So that's like with the leg. So if she now gets strong, try to stop, you know, just keep the rein. And you think you want this same length of neck. And that happens. And it's quite like, you know, it, it's not even... What you then try to do is to go here. You go like this way, but the trunk has still gone forward. You, you do a bit the same. So what you have to do is to get much more, like, stable in this part. If you think of pulling in your stomach muscles, like you would sit on the loo and you have a hard tummy, <laughs> like this, you are pushing, like push, pulling in the stomach muscles first, and then almost push the intestines against it, and then you will try to sit still. <laughs> And that's a bit what the horse is doing. He's trying to shift you and see, can I do this, can I do this? And that's where you, this part, you know, then, then many trainers said use more back. But actually it's not the back muscles, it's the stomach muscles that are very strong. And if you have a bad back, you exercise your stomach muscle more than the back muscle. Then the back will get strong too. And then, so, like feel that you get strong here. And now push against my arm. You keep the hand like this and then push against my hand. Okay, good, good. And then from the hip joint, you have to be able to lift your leg. So, so, so that actually it's the weight of the trunk that keeps the rider down in the saddle. And then you have to be able to use the leg when you need it. So if and, and it's not like, ooh, like this. It's just so that you feel that you carry your leg from your hip and your knee. And then push against my arm again. Good. You don't? Good, good. Good. And then you, when, when you want to like push again. Good. And from here, you can use the leg. What you saw when I was pulling her was that you were here and you tried to squeeze yourself. And then you, then you can't activate the horse to get shorter. And then the same here. So, so that you really feel that this keeps you in the saddle. Okay, and now think of me being behind your hands. And I can do this hard. And can you still use your leg? And then you have to be able to do that in movement, which is a bit harder. So, you, you can't like try to sit down. The, okay, then go to the right. And I just pull you too, because you do the same. <laughs> and most riders do the same. And I, I really think this is one of the fundamental things. And I have told it hundreds of thousands of times. And when I come back next time, nobody has done it. <laughs> so you see, you go home and you